Eight Mile. I watch that shit. Every time it come on, I be like, all right, let's watch. This shit is good. It's a good movie. You know what I'm it saying? Is, it's fine. It is. I, you know, I just never was a fan of Eminem. But shout out to you, Em. You know what I mean? Um, I'm a cause Cole was nigga. Cole was like, that's crazy. He just texted me. He was like, yo, uh, you should start doing. Me- Y'all should start doing music reviews, nigga. That's what we started doing, nigga. That's how we started. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, I. But when that album come out, I listened to it. You know what I'm saying? I was just listening to um. I had to listen to Schoolboy sh- Q shit because I didn't really listen to it all the way. I listened to that. Okay. And I was listening to a couple things, but um, staying on music, you saw Hot 97 just happened, uh, Summer Jam. I do understand the concept of Redman and Method Man. All right, boom. See? Okay. I understand the concept. No, I understand the concept. Hold on. Because... This summer jam, what who was the lineup in the summer jam? Hold on, I don't know. Who was the summer? Who, who tell me who was the because I can't time, honestly tell you that the crowd wasn't. He should have went last year. Met the men, them should have went. Maybe you know what I'm saying, like. But the lineup should tell you that you know. And he even said the crowd wasn't really fucking with him. Mm-hmm. And and I I didn't like that. All right, boom. They had <laughs> they had. Uh, all right, we got to start from. All right, now this is it. They had Doja Cat and Friends, Sexy Red, French Montana, Davido, Lola Brooke, Love You Boo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cash Cobain, Bay Swag, Honey Baby, Fabio Foreign, 41, Cal Rich, Jen Carter, Tata, Sleepy Hollow, Connie Diamond, 310 Baby, Ty Dolla Sign and Friends, Celebrity Host, A Boogie, Celebrating the Life of Mr. C that with tells- Big Daddy Kane. J- yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so just to make sure that y'all catch up to what we say, Method Man, Method Man put a post up. He was like, yo, thank you, New York. Thank you, Hot 97. It's been a pleasure, you know what I'm saying? Know. But we will never do Summer Jam again because... The age gap is so crazy that while we was on stage, it just sounded like you just heard a pin drop. Yeah. Like they just yeah. didn't know our music. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, but I, I totally, yeah, I get it. And my thing is, there's other avenues for y'all. So, LL Cool J does Rock the Bells. So that's... Now that's where you win, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like go there because yeah, you know you'll be more appreciated. Um, and like I said, I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like. I was mad, but I was. Uh, it I was, was in the building. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. So it's just like I didn't like that for them because of their name, legends. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Their, their music and they usually is the in ones movies that, and shit. Yeah, they usually the ones that's turning shit up. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like. Down. They yeah, probably, I didn't like that. that crowd, yeah. The kids in that crowd probably thinking like, yo, ain't that um ain't that... Tyreek lawyer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not 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 motherfucker Method Man. And wasn't that his brother? Yes. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, I I did not like that. Yeah, they're not I, gonna I, I go felt, so bad. I felt as... that for him and yeah. I, I respect the bow out of the you know, I'm I'm not coming back. Yeah, I'm good. I'm not man. coming back. I'm good. And yeah. the way you said it, the way you said yeah. it, is maybe, maybe, maybe this should be a hot ninety-seven. I'm. Um, this should be a summer jam for just. Shout out, just Shout out like, to Method Man for a long, long yes. time. Mm-hmm. Method Man was number five in my top five. Top five for a long time, until you know Kendrick came about and you know shit like that. But Method Man is so dope, bro. I fuck with you, Meth. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Meth. I, I need to get the interview because my man is an engineer in his studio, so I need to holler. No, I need and they need a summer jam for just like nineties. A nice set. Yeah, a nice set. What was still the locks, modern the now, locks, you know, fab. Yeah. Oh, uh, you can't get hove. I was about to say hove. You can't get hove to come out. <laughs> Why not? Nas. He on he on rap no more. Fat Joe. Bring out Ja Rule, baby, and Fifty on the same stage. <laughs> Should be crazy. That'd be crazy. But oh, uh, yeah. Shout out they to. They only need a big ass stadium. Like they only need somewhere like because that's gonna be a lot of people. Yeah, that'll be fun. You gonna have that'll people like coming because they doing it in New York again, and it's in Long Island. 
Jones uh, the Beach. US, U, the US, the the UBC, UBS. Oh, that's um Elmont, like Queens. Yeah, 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 Elmont, yeah. yeah. It's close to. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's right there. Yeah. You still gotta take the L out right there, right? Well, they have um. I like that. So that shit comfortable. Butch Bonton is coming to New York. This is his first time ever being here. Mm-hmm. You know who that is. Mm-hmm. You sure? Yeah, hello. Oh, yeah, all right. He's just in the studio oh, with Khaled. He's just in the studio with Khaled. I might not be able to sing he's, the song he's performing. or nothing. He's performing July 14th. I'm going. Dope. Where? At the same three. Okay, okay, yeah, dope, on, dope. Arena. That's what's up. Y'all, so I went the other day because I got like a little joint on my on my foot, right? Shit been bothering me, right? So I went to the nail salon. I thought he was gonna give me the they was gonna give me the female. Yeah, corn or the dude pulled up. Mm-hmm. I said, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga went to work. I was like, well, I, I was about to fall asleep and shit. I was like, oh, this nigga going like crazy right now. <laughs> Yo, shout out to you, my boy. But uh, what's good, Chum? We're gonna have a um we gonna have a, a a president in office with a couple felonies on his record. That's what's about to happen. Donald Trump about to get. Is he guilty? Yeah, but he's still running for president. I mean, I heard. You know, you could quote me if you want, but I don't think. I don't, I mean, maybe I'm saying it wrong, but I think I'm saying it right. Critical. All right, so I felt like they said that if you're president and something that happens within the time, you know after your presidency or whatever, um, I don't think you will go to jail. You do some type of, like, probation and shit crazy, or whatever. Right? You can't even vote if you got a felony. That's what I'm saying. You like, be president? Be, you be pre- yeah, that's what I'm saying, yo. I, uh-huh. Every country out there is laughing at us, my nigga, like, because we're spoiled. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I, I don't, it, yeah, we all spoil you, but we always do something. Dumb shit in the public eye, bro. Some dumb shit, bro. How you putting this man, like, boom, right? On a pedestal? That's Not even on like. a pedestal. Like, how you going to put him in this situation right here where you like, yo, we about to put him to jail. But you know that he still could run for president and you letting him run for president. You got to stop either one. You know what I'm saying? Because you just making the country look dumb. Why? 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 Why stop when this man could give us more money? You know, I'd rather put his ass in motherfucking office than, you know, the new nigga. The new nigga's gonna fuck it up for us. Yeah, fuck Joe, up all our schemes that we have Joey, planned. Joey B is wild. You know what I'm saying? Well, get this nigga out of here. That's so this nigga be forgetting all the shit. That's so if we have him in here, this scheming ass nigga, they ain't gonna know our plot. But when a new nigga come in. You know, I don't know. I'm just saying. It's just. I don't know, man. This country is backwards, bro. Uh, but it is what it, it is. is. You know what I mean? At least we got the freedom to be here shooting this, that, that. The dream hit with sexual battery, I heard abuse, today. and trafficking. Well, who? So, I don't well, who? Know. They saying his protege. Who's his protege? What does that mean? Protégé is, is like it a somebody, male? Is it a female? Protégé is like somebody that's like... That you teaching to be like you? Yeah, that's the that, right? protégé, right? No, that's my, what I think my, when I hear protégé. Should we look the word up? Pro, like, so who do he have? Like, as, as a sex worker. <laughs> yeah, that's what it sounds like. Sex trafficking. Sexual battery. Sexual battery, like he beat the, on people? The dream is being sued by a woman who claims that the producer and songwriter sexually and physically assaulted her. The woman, Shanaze, C-H-A-N-A-A-Z, Mango, a.k.a. Shani Monroe, filed her lawsuit today, June 4th, in the California federal court. The dream's record label, Contra Paris, and Epic Records are also named as defendants in the complaint. In her complaint, she says that she met the dream in 2014 when she was 23 years old, coming to the United States from her native Netherlands and hoping to land her big break as a singer-songwriter. The lawsuit states under the guise of pursuing a legitimate recording and publishing contract with Mr. Mongro, Dream Lord, the young and vulnerable artists That's into an abusive, violent, and manip- manipulative relationship filled with physical assault, sexual encounters, and 
horrific psychological manipulation. Yeah, his name is what's his name? Something mongrel. Oh no. It just sounds crazy. But yeah, so he's getting